to a new RealPars video. Today, you'll learn all about P and ID diagrams. Before we start this video, I have a favor to ask you Real Pars fans here on YouTube. If you love our videos, we would love you to go ahead and like this video. This is a great motivator for us to produce free valuable content for you. That would also help others to more easily find our videos on YouTube. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. When you subscribe, each new video will be sent to you as quickly as it is published. Now, let's get into the video. You may be thinking, what in the world is a P&ID diagram? In industry, these are piping and instrumentation diagrams, P&ID for short. Most manufacturing facilities have compressed air, steam, chilled water, and other processes that require the use of piping. All of these forms of energy and processes require instrumentation to control them, which is usually in the form of valves and gauges, along with pumps and accumulators. A P&ID diagram will have all of these for a maintenance person, operator, engineer, or other employee to read and perform their job. At first glance, a P&ID diagram may look pretty intimidating. There can be several processes on one P&ID. What I like to do is break it down into sections to make it a little easier to understand. For example, let's take a look at a pneumatic system P&ID. First, you should start at the air compressor, which you'll find the correct symbol for on a legend of all symbols used. You would then follow the line which represents a pipe to the next component. In most cases, it'll be some form of instrumentation, like a pressure transmitter or indicator that reads air pressure, or a valve to allow air to pass through to the next component or block the air from passing through. There are many types of valves. Be sure to compare the symbols on your P&ID to the legend. The P&ID will then show piping leading to the next component, which in the case of our pneumatic system could be an accumulator. An accumulator is simply a tank or storage device for air or fluids. Most P&ID diagrams will then have a symbol with an arrow labeled for another specific piece of machinery in the facility, or it may simply say to process. This will indicate that if you need to trace the system further, you will need the diagrams for that specific equipment. Hopefully by now, you're getting a feel for following a P&ID diagram. Just remember to break the overall diagram down into smaller, more specific sections and simply trace the system that you need more information from. Always refer to the legend to make sure you know what the symbols indicate on the diagram. Be sure to check back for more RealPars videos.